Well, welcome to a fun video where I'm going to try to hunt some quarters and find some really cool stuff. So let's open this box and see if we can hunt them. Oh, yeah, there is circulated coins in here, so we do have a hunt. Hopefully, you find some cool stuff in here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. All right, we are on roll number four and I've got a Eleanor Roosevelt 2023. Um, over here, if I can hold it straight, my hands are a little shaky tonight. Um, it looks like there might be a little bit of doubling here on the um, chain bar, whatever it is holding up the scales there. Um, this could be machine doubling, or it could be a double die. I know those are some people are finding some new double ties on these in those areas, so and it kind of looks like it might fit the bill, but I'm gonna hold my horses and not say it is or isn't yet. Um, does kind of look like a double die, but it could just be machine doubling. Either way, I'm gonna put it up there as a fine for now. Roll number five, and we have a double die reverse here. This is the 2021 under the wrist here there's a little bit of doubling right there um if i know which one it is i'll put it up on the screen when i pop up the picture of it but that's a cool little find you can find a few different uh double dives on there under the arm there still on roll number five and we have a nice little die chip on this tall grass prairie now you can usually find some some die chips here this one is a good size one this one also has a die chip here above the top wing so that's a couple of die chips there. Pretty cool and a, a pretty sizable one too for what it is. I've seen them bigger, um, but I've seen a lot of them that are smaller. Okay, second to last coin in roll number seven. Got a homestead 2015. And if you have been watching, you know you can find double dies in the windows. This one is pretty, is, is a nicer, easier to spot one here. So that is cool. Too fine. That is another double die reverse. Roll number nine. We've got another double die here on this homestead 2015. This one is in the bottom of the window, just above the pump handle. It goes straight across this time instead of a down. Cool. That's another double die reverse. Two of those. Still on roll number nine. And I've got a 2022 Sally Ride. This one has some doubling right on the collar here, or just next to the collar. It is a bit more minor, but still a cool little double die. I'm gonna put it up here with the rest. Roll number 10, and we have a 2021. This one is another double die under the arm here. A different one than the one, the one we found earlier. This one is a little bit smaller, a little bit more towards the wrist and less down the arm there. But still, pretty cool find. Okay, roll number 11. Got another Harper's Ferry here, 2016. This one has a bit of a bit more minor doubling in one of the windows here. Um, smaller uh, doubling than the others. Well, I haven't found any of these. Well, it is a smaller than some of the ones that I have found. Um, but still, still counts as a double die. Okay, we've got to roll 23, and I've got this 1966. On the reverse, you could find a double die here but this one looks more like it's machine doubling but it does have an interesting machine doubling look to it i figured i would share that um does not match to the double die reverse out there that that one is in the cherry picker's guide machine doubling happens when the coin um shifts during uh while it's being minted while it's being pressed and it causes the uh devices the letters the design and stuff to kind of shift a little bit and kind of flattens out the metal and pushes it a little bit. Here is the machine doubling. It looks like machine doubling to me, but you can see how the coin is kind of flat and smushed. The details are the lettering and stuff, um, but you can see a little bit of it here. You can kind of make out a little bit on the Uno, but where you really see it, well, you can make a little bit out on the America as well. But where you really see it is on the quarter. You can see the extra on the quarter. 
And this, it looks like machine doubling. And since this coin has been uh, circulated and worn, so all the details, all the lettering is smushed down, um, that's where all the weird bumps and smushes come from. And you can see it more on the R here, on the T, E, R, a little bit on the D. And then you can see a little bit of the uh, machine doubling here. Machine doubling is that added little step. It looks like a stair step up that takes away from the uh, coin, um, the details there. It's not an added extra to it. It's just a little stair step. It looks like somebody cut a little notch in so you could step up. That was what machine doubling is. And this one does have that really interesting look to it, even though this is circulated. Okay, I'm on roll 15, and I think I'll be counting the rolls wrong. I think I was saying 20. But yeah, the way, this is a S-minted uh, NIFC, not intended for circulation. This one is a 2018 Pictured Rocks. Wow, the reverse is really reflective. Almost proof-like, but uh, this is not a proof. This is a business strike. Uh, the only place you could get these was purchase some from the Mint. They were not released into circulation. They have a low mintage, um, but a lot of them were saved in high grade because they weren't released into circulation uh, like the West Points were. Roll 18, and I've got a pretty nice uh, die chip here on Eleanor Roosevelt. Not the common places, but there is a die chip over here. I haven't seen one over here yet. Um, pretty cool, interesting find, and it is a nice sizable one too. Very cool. That is a die chip. We'll put it here with that die chip. Awesome. Roll 27. Got a Harper's Ferry here. This one has uh, some minor doubling in one of the windows here. Um, it is kind of small and hard to see, but uh, it still counts as a double die. Roll 27 still. We got a Betsy Coleman. This one has the die chip on top of the plane here. Cool. Fun little find. Let's add it up here right there. We are on roll 32, and I got a Fort McKinley here. This one has some doubling on the firework bursts. And a little bit into windows here. This is a double die reverse here. I think it's the number one, but I'm not quite sure. Either way, it is another double die. Roll number 33. Got another Selly ride. This one also has, has a little bit of doubling here next to the collar. That's another double die. Really cool find. Roll 34. We got this by Angelou. This is 2022. And it's been a while since I've come across one of these, but this has a pretty large die chip on the mouth here. Pretty cool find there. Um, they aren't quite smaller die chips on the mouth, they're quite common. But when they get big enough that you can see them uh, without uh, using a microscope, that's when I start to like, oh, I want to hold on to this one because it is a good size. Roll number 36. I've got a 2018 Cumberland here. This one, when I flipped it over, it is another San Francisco Business Strike coin. Another not released into circulation uh, coin, NIFC, um, with a low mintage. Pretty cool. That's two San Francisco minted coins this hunt. Awesome. Roll 39. Got a My Angelou 2022. This one has doubling on the earring, a double die with an extra little earring here. That's pretty cool find. This one is a little uh, dinged up, so it's kind of hard to see, but that is a pretty cool double die. I think it's one of the more rare double dies for that date, but still cool find. It's been a while since I found a double earring, a long while. Roll number 41, and we got a really cool find. This is a newly discovered double die that's uh, been recently discovered. There's doubling on all the letters down here, and across of America, and across the uh, leaves and flowers in the top of the hair here. Really cool find. Since this is the first time finding this, I figured I would break it down this way. Um, you can look up here on top of America and see the doubling there. You can see there's a little notching here at the corners. Um, 
and as well. You can see some, there is some doubling on the United States as well. It's, it's a bit more minor. And then you can see the E, P, L, there's some there. But on the R, the U and S, um, some slight doubling in the Unum. And then here you can see some doubling, some uh, extra thickness and extra doubling. A little bit here. And we'll go to the next slide, a little bit here as well. And under the K's, you can see it really good. Uh, let's see. And there is some doubling in the hair, it looks like, uh, the flowers that are up in the hair here. So that is matches to BDDR001 uh, on Variety Vista. Um, let's scroll down. You can see the extra doubling in the of America here. Um, and then the E pluribus there matching as well to what we got the doubling on the little apostrophe and in the k's the little extras in the mai the e's and stuff and here's the apostrophe in the i uh so yeah that is vddr 001 we are still on roll 41 and i've got another 2021 this one has a double die under the wrist here more doubling on washington's wrist i think i found another one of these earlier in the hunt but either way cool this is another double die find for the hunt roll 47 last coin i was looking at here Another Sally ride. This one has a smaller uh, double die here, small doubling on next to the collar. A little bit different from the other ones, but still fun find there. Roll 48, and I've got another Eleanor Roosevelt. This one has what looks like some doubling here, here on both sides of the stand, maybe. And a little bit here, possibly a couple other spots. Um, Pretty interesting looking. It does look like it's doubling, but it could again be just some machine doubling. Um, interesting uh, find nonetheless. And yeah, we're just going to add it to the stack there. And the two main sites that I use for matching my double die varieties are Variety Vista and Wexler's double die.com. I'll have links below in case you need them or would like to go check those out. There's a lot of great information out here. Wexler's variety start with a W and uh, Dr. Wild's variety Vista. Listings start with a V or do not have a starting letter in them. So that is where I got those. There are a lot of other great sites, but these are the main two that I use when uh, matching up double dive varieties. Okay, well, it's time to wrap up here. A lot of interesting fun finds here. Um, light on the die chips on this box and happy on the double dies. Um, so really cool finds here. Um, let's just start breaking this down. 2022 Maya Angelou with the die chip on the mouth. The 2020 with die chips on the wing here. Uh, the Eleanor Roosevelt with die chip over here. Um, and the die chip on the plane on the Spitzy Coleman. Then we had this 1966 with some machine doubling on it. Some interesting looking machine doubling. And then the rest of these here are double die reverses. Um, but before we get into those, we had two S minted quarters, uh, low minted uh, business strike not intended for circulation. So San Francisco had proof strikes and business strikes. All these coins are considered business strikes because they were for doing business. Um, so that's the difference in the term, if you were not aware. And so these that's pretty cool to find those. Low Minage uh, San Francisco Business Strike, not intended for circulation coins. Ah, that's a mouthful. All right, let's break down uh, these uh, double dies real quick. And all of them are the reverses. So I'm just going to break them down here. We had two 2016 Harper's Ferries, one 2013 Fort McHenry. I think that's 2013. Um, <laughs> Uh, two 2015 homesteads, uh, a really cool newer double, newer discovered double die on the 2023 Edith Canuck Ole there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the harder to find ones on the my Angelou here in the earring, uh, 2022. Three 2022 Sally rides, doubling next to the collar there. Two Eleanor Roosevelt's with some doubling on the, um, scale there, um, some interesting looking things there. 
and then one, two, three, three 2021s with doubling under the wrist. So some really cool finds this hunt. Um, very interesting stuff. Uh, again, I usually find a lot more double uh, die chips, but uh, not a lot this hunt. It was all a bunch of double dies on the reverse of these coins. And these are mostly all more minor double dies, but still cool to find. Um, minor being that they're uh, not as highly collectible, highly sought, um, or more extreme like some of the other, the older double dies that you find on um, like this. Uh, 1950, uh, 1965 and 66 have some really cool double dies on them in the quarters or the uh, 1955 Lincoln cent or the 1969 San Francisco Lincoln cent which are stellar double dies which are rare to find and then um, they're so extreme that they are hold a ton of value. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I've probably rambled on long enough here at the end. So let's just <laughs> wrap this up. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, help me out, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.